Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about different functions for uh, dynamic memory allocation and deallocation. So the first one is a malloc function, which stands for memory allocation. So if we are talking about uh, memory allocation here or deallocation, we are definitely talking about the um, heap section of memory. Okay, please keep that in mind. So this is memory allocation and uh, this function returns uh, the pointer for uh, the which holds the address of first byte. The syntax is like uh, a pointer is there. So we have our cast type and we will be writing malloc and then we have to define the size that how much memory we want to allocate. So uh, uh, the example can be let's say p1 is equal to and let's say my cast type is float and I am writing a malloc function in which I want to define size uh, for let's say I want to store 100 uh, 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 I want to have the size of 100 uh, float data type elements. So I will be writing 100 into uh, size of now size of is the function which will be calculating the size of so if I write here float that means size of a float. Okay. Now remember um, this particular statement which we have written over here it is going to allocate um, let me do that here it is going to allocate um, 400 bytes of memory and P1 uh, is going to hold uh, the address of first byte out of it. Okay, now um, uh, let me do that small so that you can see it once. So now I think this is not a very typical maths because because the the size of float is four byte. Okay. And we have taken 100 such bytes, so 100 into 4 is equal to 400 bytes we are talking here. Okay. If it, it would have been an integer, then it will be um, um, 100 into 2, that is 200 bytes of memory space. Now, um, let us talk about, let us talk about, um, the calloc function. So, calloc stands for uh, contiguous allocation. Again, the allocation will be in the heap section of memory. And now, um, um, according to the discussion, what we have done as of now, uh, my malloc function, uh, it allocates the memory and leave memory uninitialized. Let me write it first. That our malloc function, it allocates memory and uh, leaves, leave memory uninitialized okay because we have only defined that this much memory amount is required and the pointer returns the address of the first byte whereas in case of a uh, calloc 
this function allocates and also initialize all bits to zero. Remember, it initializes all bits to zero so that the default value is initialized as zero in case of uh, memory allocation for the variables using calloc function. Now, always remember these are defined in a standard library hadron. So, always when a, before using those functions, you have to uh, include that file. So let us talk about the uh, uh, syntax part of uh, calloc. So syntax will be uh, like what is happening? Syntax will be like uh, let's say some pen. Let's say some pointer we will be talking about and then we definitely have a cast type over here and then uh, in calloc it takes two arguments uh, one is for defining this the the number of elements that you wish to and then what will be the size of element okay so example is like if i'm defining p2 that will be let's say again i have taken a float data type then calloc and then suppose i want to have 25 elements and definitely those elements will be of uh, or size like float element so i will be writing here size of and inside that i define a float so uh, the above statement is going to uh, uh, allocate contiguous space of uh, 25 elements okay of type float okay because this this type cast we have defined here float so it is going to allocate so if i uh, uh, clearly wish to know that uh, it's a simple maths if i clearly wish to know that how much uh, memory will be uh, required that means uh, we are talking here about four is the four bit byte is the size of the float and 25 such 100 uh, bytes are allocated in a contiguous manner and uh, that will be kept for float type of data elements now uh, let us talk about reallocate function so reloc function uh, this can use to modify the size of memory okay this is used to modify size of memory of already allocated already allocated that means if some some array or some variable is already been allocated either using calloc or malloc in your uh, heap section of memory then this reloc uh, function can be used to either uh, increase the size or that means expand the block or uh, reduce the size of the previously allocated memory so the syntax will be like uh, etr is equal to and we'll be writing realloc and in realloc definitely you have to define your previously allocated uh, uh, memory location and then you define the new size now what you wish to do whether you want to reduce or increase so so the example is like uh, if suppose my ptr p1 is 
is like uh, uh, let's say float of uh, malloc this was my let's say of size 10 it was so by using uh, our calloc we can make it even as uh, uh, we can do that float is the data type class float and then we will be simply writing realloc and suppose and we will be definitely defining here p1 because we want we want to reallocate the memory of the p1 itself and let's say i make it 20 now so what will happen this ptr is reallocated this p1 is it is reallocated with a new size okay what is happening here it is i'm writing a command reallocated with new size of 20 okay the point is uh, say something you have allocated by using um, malloc or calloc in your previous uh, uh, in your program and then you want to keep that same uh, uh, memory location and just want to expand or reduce the size of the memory then you can use this realloc function okay now uh, the last one is the free function because it is very much important that when you allocate the memory because it is a manual procedure you have to manually uh, uh, delete or free the memory space so we were talking about the free function so uh, the dynamically allocated memory either by your uh, malloc or calloc uh, they they do not get freed uh, by themselves okay so explicitly we have to free it or uh, let's say we have to deallocate so this deallocation is done uh, with the help of free function and the syntax is very simple in the end of the program okay when, when you have utilized all those uh, variables which you have allocated and once it the work is done in the last you can write uh, free and inside that you define your pointer p or ptr or p1 whatever you have used uh, at the time of you can simply write it to deallocate the memory now remember that all these functions either uh, malloc calloc or reloc or free they will be defined in your uh, uh, standard library of so do not forget to include that in your program otherwise you will get the error thank you for watching